good afternoon everyone yes good afternoon ma'am am i audible to everyone yes ma'am yes. okay so i am dr sunita gulia i am working as a senior academic consultant at cit ncrt so uh, today i'll be taking this session with you all so uh, let me uh, share my presentation with you all i hope screen is visible to everyone the slide which i have shared right now yes ma'am okay so uh, as you can see the subject of today's session is chemistry and the learning tool that we will be using here is argus lab so uh, during this session we will explore argus lab and with the help of this uh, argus lab as a chemistry tool we will design 3d molecular structures learn how to undertake a complete structural study of different compounds so one by one we'll uh, proceed and i'll take hands on session along with this uh, presentation also so just a uh, information if any of you have any question about the topic about the software about hands on any uh, any uh, exercise you all are free to leave your message in the chat box i will address them timely so this is the first slide now here you can see that this slide is all about the integration of technology in teaching and learning we all understand how important the integration of technology in the teaching learning process even the national education policy nep 2020 recognizes the potential of technology and digital tools to enhance the teaching learning process across all educational level this includes the use of digital tools multimedia resources and online platforms to enhance the classroom instructions and make learning more engaging and interactive so as you can see on the slide there are multiple digital initiatives such as diksha swayamprabha o labs various educational apps such as e parshala jadoo pitara and several digital tools that cater to different learning style and make the complex a uh, subject more accessible and engaging through these diverse and interactive tools as an educator we can present information in a dynamic ways such as simulation virtual labs interactive tools interactive models and which which basically helps student in grasping any difficult concept so overall um, i can conclude here that uh, technology in uh, education is very much important because it promotes a uh, critical thinking creativity and a lifelong learning so uh, coming to the chemistry that is our today's uh, subject area so first we'll see what are the various interactive tools that are available in chemistry so here you can see on your screen i have listed few uh, software uh, along with downloadable link here so first is the argus uh, avogadro so avogadro as you can see this it is a uh, advanced molecular editor with visualization tool j hello ma'am not Hello. Not, not audible, not audible. hello i think there was some kind of uh, technical glitch i was uh, not present during the breakout room Uh, let me share my presentation one more time can i start now 
Yes, ma'am. Okay. So we were discussing about various interactive tools that are available in chemistry. So I I have listed few uh, uh, software name here along with the downloadable link. You can see first one is Avogadro. Second is a J mold. It is that is a Java uh, viewer for chemical structure in three D. Calcium and P table. Basically, these are the interactive table that uh, provide information about the elements. And ChemSketch is used for drawing chemical structure. So, as per today's session, we will be focusing uh, on the Argus Lab. And within this large umbrella tool, I have chosen Argus Lab for several reasons. So, during the session, as we proceed, you will get to know why we are focusing on Argus Lab. So. Uh, First, I'll uh, discuss about this Argus Lab tool. We should know what is what is this Argus Lab and how we are going to implement or integrate this tool into our chemistry education. So all of you can see uh, that I have uh, listed few features about this Argus Lab here. So first of all, I'll tell you what is Argus Lab. Argus Lab, basically, it is a molecular modeling software that we will use for building analyzing simple or any complex structure. It could be of uh, uh, any organic molecule, biomolecule, complex protein structure. So we can uh, design any kind of simple and complex structure through this tool. Now, as an educator, just I mentioned that this uh, tool is a valuable, can be used, Can it is a valuable teaching aid that can be used to demonstrate any uh, molecular concept in a more interactive manner. It is a, uh, it, because it provide a, it has an advanced feature of 3D molecular structure visualization and manipulation. And this visualization tool is very much important because this tool with the help of this, this tool, uh, we can uh, basically uh, visualize any uh, complex or abstract concept in a more interactive and engaging manner. And it basically it offer a deep understanding of any topic that is that couldn't be easily explained through 2D or through a normal blackboard uh, teaching. So second feature I can see uh, we can see here is that it has various measurement provides various measurement tool. What uh, what do we mean by this measurement tool? Because this tool has this uh, software, it allows the calculations of various properties like dipole moment, bond length, bond angle. Even we can do the energy minimization through this tool. So the all these uh, these uh, properties we will we will calculate during our hands-on session. And other uh, features uh, about this uh, tool is the molecular interaction analysis. Through this, we can basically, uh, it helps the user to uh, perform uh, the simulation of molecular interactions such as hydrogen bonding, van der Waal forces, dipole-dipole interactions. Simulation means near to real visualization. So it helps students digitally visualize molecule, uh, how the molecule interact in different chemical environment. They can see how the bonds are forming, bonds are breaking. So overall, they get to know about the reaction pathway of any uh, reaction. They can uh, get to know about the intermediate product that are forming during the whole process and during the any kind of reaction. So this is all about the feature that we will be soon be exploring these through our Argus lab once we'll start the hands-on session. So uh, next is, if I talk about its pedagogic, uh, pedagogic value. So pedagogically, I can say that this tool, it basically facilitate the teacher-student collaboration. It enhances the molecular understanding and it integrate 3D visualization. So basically, unlike just I mentioned, unlike static 2D uh, representation, 3D uh, molecular model can be rotated, can be zoomed, manipulated to view the molecule from different angles. So that pro provides a better understanding of any complex molecule or any uh, complex reaction pathway. So just I mentioned, uh, uh, I 
hope all as a chemistry teacher you all might have used uh, ball and stick model for the demonstration of molecule uh, which is a very popular medium uh, for during face to face teaching but i hope in the time of digital era if you want to see how the molecule look like in a three dimensional space then this uh, tool uh, can be used and it can be easily explained and easily uh, visualized and explored through this uh, argus lab tool so coming to the uh, this software strength and weakness i can say that uh, one of the uh, most uh, uh, it's a uh, best uh, strength or i can say one of the best uh, biggest advantage of this argus lab tool is that it is a freely available software it is very simple and easy to use it provide a very user friendly interface and it overall it enhances the molecular understanding and it also helps in uh, uh, it provide a over uh, provide a periodic table elements basically it cover entire periodic table elements so you have a inbuilt library of all the different of elements even you have a inbuilt library of some atoms rings protein structure so you have entire you can create your own molecule or you can procure the elements or atoms from the, its inbuilt library last is the it provide a uh, very uh, it has a flexible output option means you can uh, see uh, the result or you can print that result in in, in different format like uh, bmp jpg tiff pov ray format there are various format in which you in which this result uh, obtained through argus lab can be saved now coming to its weakness uh, first of all it's, this software is uh, only available in english that is its language limitation and it also uh, provide limited representation of non covalent bond it may, main focus is on the covalent bond representation and it is only compatible with window op operating system so all these are its uh, we weakness and coming to the how we can download or how we can reach to that argus lab i have provided a downloadable link here that we will soon be using during our hands on session so here i just want to give you an overview like um, when we will uh, see and ex explore our argus lab we'll start exploring our argus lab this kind of interface you will see so after opening the argus lab you will see this kind of landing page you can see on your left hand side that i have uh, this blackboard kind of screen is there and it's written draw molecule here so basically on this screen you will build your molecule and on the right hand side you can see the after building the structure your screen will look like uh, different now before uh, like here in these two slides i have basically what i have did i have documented the important uh, two icons along with its use which will be using during our hands on session so you any time you can refer and see uh, its features what are the different tools that are available in this argus lab now before jumping to the argus lab uh, software i just want to tell you one more important thing here like before we start working on the software i would like to highlight few important or common steps that we will use while building any 3d molecular structure in argus lab first step is you have to drop or place atom on the screen or okay so there are various ways in which you can uh, reach to this step one so i have listed all these steps here sub steps also now the second number is you have to define your atom here define means you have to specify the geometry you have to specify the hybrid hybridization in case as per the uh, structure requirement and third and the most important uh, feature here is the geometry optimization or cleaning the structure so as i have just mentioned that in during the first two step like using step number 1 that is uh, placing atom and step number 2 that is defining atom basically you are creating a molecule so after creating molecule we have to save our molecule we have to give a file name to that particular molecule so after that we will perform the cleaning the structure step now here you can see in the first structure and in the second structure there is a huge difference in the structure geometry 
you can see the bonds are much elongated because it is a structure of an you can see it is a uh, h2o molecule but the you can see uh, the bonds are highly elongated in first structure and after you can easily compare the difference in uh, during the clean geometry you can see the structure is more uh, precise i will not say that it is an accurate structure still we have not reached to the accurate structure during this step we need one more step that is this is only the pre optimization step so after that we will perform the optimization step that is the geometry optimization so you can see in this structure 3 that is an optimized geometry the structure is an accurate structure i can say it is a most stable structure because here the bond length bond angle and all other parameters they are very much close to the experimental data so our optimized structure will be called as an accurate and most stable structure so these these are the basic uh, three step that we have to follow while building any uh, 3d molecular structure in argus lab now we can now start our hands on session i hope all of you are ready with your system can we so i'll be dropping uh, one link in your chat box all of you please download that link through that we will proceed with our uh, software all of you please your, your chat please see your chat box is the link visible to everyone i have shared one drive link with you all is it visible can anyone please let me know is it visible to is the link is visible or not yes ma'am link is visible okay yes ma'am please link start downloading please start downloading we will we are we will be proceed with our hands on session we will do it simultaneously so that it become easier for you to understand this software so you can all of you can see that uh, this kind of zip folder you must have received and after downloading this zip folder you will basically extract file from this zip folder now you please look at this screen i am opening the folder after extracting so this these three files must be visible to all of you am i right so what i am going to do i will go to the setup application that is through which we will download our software so i am doing this with you all simultaneously so you all will please click on the setup application so it will ask you a permission give yes then proceed like this you go to the next step i accept the agreement next next through the, perform all these steps now you can see on your screen your installation has been finished i hope you all must have downloaded the file so this kind of icon will be will appear on your system you all please see this kind of icon so what i am going to do i'll click on this icon this is my software window so if this kind of screen is visible to everyone this board 
Argus Lab interface. Is this visible to everyone? Please let me know. Is this visible? So that I can proceed yes. with my hands-on session. Yes, ma'am, it is visible. Yes, okay. ma'am. Okay. So this kind of uh, interface, or this will be your landing page first after opening the Argus Lab. So how we will proceed here, I'll just give you an first. Here you can see on the top left side, there is an icon called Create New Molecule. So what I have to do, I have to do the right left click here. After left click, you can see a blackboard kind of screen has been appeared. So this is my working screen on which I'll build my molecule. I will optimize my molecule. So all of you can see here that this uh, there is a line. And at the end of the line, there is a, a point where C is written and the geometry is tetrahedral. So by default, this system takes carbon as default atom and geometry as tetrahedral. Okay, so we can, um, so this is how we any time we can get rid of this line by clicking on the this left arrow. So I am pressing the left click. So you can see now this line is not visible anymore. So now we will start building our molecule. So let me take you again to the presentation so that we, we will see what we have to perform. So here you can see during the presentation, our first hands-on session is building molecules such as H2, H2O and benzene. So we'll start building small molecule first. So here you can see so I'll make hydrogen molecule first. So for that, what you have to do, you have to pick this pencil with, you can see a small atom is there, blue atom. I'll select this, okay? And after that selecting, I will do the selection through my left click, left mouse click. Now, after that, first step I told you is to place the atom or drop the atom on the screen. So I am going to drop my atom on the screen and dropping will be done through my right hand, right hand click on the mouse. So I'll drop. So now you can see there is a ball which has been placed on this screen. This is basically nothing but the carbon atom. And by default, it has given a gray color we can change the atom color accordingly. It is not like it is not some hard and fast rule that we the ad, carbon atom will look gray only. Anytime we can change, we can go to the display, we can go to the label part, even we can label our atom. So we'll learn all these steps in between during the session. So this is the first carbon atom here. Now, since we have to make the hydrogen atom, so I need to change this atom to hydrogen atom. So how I will do, I will left click on this atom, then right click and this window will appear, small window that sh shows change atom. So I'll change this atom to hydrogen. So you, you can, can repeat it, repeat it better. Okay, I, I'll make another atom. So what again, we I'm going to place the atom. For placing the atom, you have to pick this pencil. Okay, do the left click through your mouse. And after that, do the right click on the screen. Atom will be dropped on your screen. Anytime you can get rid of this cursor line by clicking the yellow arrow. Okay, now what I told you that we have to make hydrogen molecule. So I need to change this atom, but because this atom is carbon and this software has by default, it has taken carbon as a default atom. So I will select this atom again, do the right click. Selection is always done with the help of left click. Just remember this thing. Now do the right click. You will see this option will come to change the atom. So I'll change this atom to hydrogen. Okay, so now you can see after selecting hydrogen, the color has been changed, obviously, because the atom is changed now. It is no, no longer a carbon atom. So it, it has become hydrogen atom now. So now I have placed two hydrogen atom on my screen. Now the next step is that 
obviously we have to make a bond in between because we are making hydrogen molecule. So in order to make the bond between these two atoms, what you have to do, this is also an important step. You always need to make sure that this automatic bond function is on. So you can see on the menu bar on the top, you can see this kind of dumbbell shape. This is my automatic bonds are off right now. So what I will do, I'll do the click here. So with the click, the, this function is on now. Now, how to make the bond? I will select the atom, first atom, second atom. Now you can see the bond has been formed between these two selected atoms. So this is how you will make your molecule. Is it clear? Now, next step is that after making this molecule, our second step, uh, we have created the molecule by placing the atom, by defining the atom, by changing the atom, or by changing it hybridization. Now, the next step is that we have to clean the structure because cleaning we, we, it is very much required because this is not Excuse much. Me. Yes, yes, ma'am. Please, please repeat, repeat the step um, bond formation, please. Bond formation. Okay, okay. So, see, I am going to deselect this atom. Deselection is again first uh, deselection and selection is always done with the help of left click. I have selected this atom bond. Now I'll delete through my button. Now you can see I have to create a bond between these two atoms. So for that. I told you that you have to select the automatic bonds. You just make sure that this function should be on. So I have put my cursor here and it is showing that automatic bonds are on. So that is our requirement. Now, how to place the bond? I will select the atom on the, for which I want to make the bond. So I'll select these atom, first atom and the second atom because I want the bond between these two hydrogen atom. After clicking, you can see this bond has been formed. Now, there are other features also that we will uh, learn through this uh, molecule only. So here you can see on the left-hand side of your menu bar, this is a translate for button. Through this, once it is selected, you can translate your molecule. You can see the translation is going on. If this kind of icon is selected, this is for the rotation. So I can rotate my molecule. Okay, and this is for the rotation. This is for zooming in or zooming out. So I'll select this. This will zoom out, zoom in. So I can do this. Now this is for the rotation in the Z axis only. And this is the selection tool we have already done. Okay, and this is uh, this is the uh, our icon for placing the atom. So we have learned so many tools through this molecule only, tool icons. So next step, we will proceed with our last step, that is the cleaning the structure or optimization the structure, because otherwise our, we will not get the accurate structure. Because I told you that this structure will not have the true bond length, true uh, 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 geometrical parameter, as uh, if I compare, look at the experimental data. So what I'll do, I'll do the cleaning of this structure. So before cleaning the structure, you have to save your molecule. So for that, first go to the file. Save your molecule means you have to give a name to your molecule, file name. So I'll save this molecule. You can make a folder on your desk system also. So I'll write down the hydrogen molecule. Okay. And I'll click save button. So this, after saving, you can see that uh, the um, your uh, our molecule has been saved or it is saved in the system. Now, after that, I will do the cleaning structure step. Cleaning structure, for that, you have to use this, uh, you have to, this scissor, you have to use this scissor-like icon. You can see it's written here, clean the geometry. So I'll click this uh, icon. Once I click, you will just notice that some kind of calculation will run on my screen. So you can see at the down, some kind of calculation has been done and it is showing that the geometry optimization has been, geometry, it is converged, means all the steps it has taken. Still, we have not reached to our accurate step. 
uh, accurate structure one more step is pending so after that what you will do you go to the calculation tab so you don't be worry about uh, the all these uh, features as per our uh, today's session we will limit ourselves to optimize geometry step so i'll click on the optimize geometry so you can see this kind of dialog box will appear so don't worry how like uh, there are so many features so i just i told you since we are dealing with the small molecules we are integrating this tool with our class with our uh, class 11th or 12th or high school uh, chemistry so we will just restrict ourselves to the basic calculation methods so for that i'll take am1 this is the simplest uh, this is this provide good result this method for small molecule okay so i'll select this met this method this is the my calculation method and during this uh, in this dialog box you can see there is an option to calculate properties so any time you can calculate any property you want like dipole moment i can calculate molecular charges i can calculate some bond order if i want i can calculate and after checking all the desired boxes i'll go to the okay button so you can see again some kind of calculation has run for this step also and this is now my final structure means the geometry has been optimized now so i have now my accurate hydrogen molecule which is true structure and more accurate and the most stable structure i hope this uh, all of you are doing uh, the, performing this step now after this what you have to do i can uh, label this uh, molecule just i mentioned so we will label this uh, molecule for labeling you will go to the label tab on your menu bar click on the label now here you can see it give you an option to label atoms in a different way like you can give a atom name to your just it will show the atom name on your uh, structure atom name with symbol you can show the hybridization you want to represent your molecule in terms of charges it will show in terms of charges only like all these way you can represent your molecule for our calculation for our uh, this purpose i am i am using atom number and symbol okay so it will give me the atom number as well as the symbol of that particular atom so here now you can see after that let me zoom this structure now you can see on your screen so here is it it is written h2 or it is h1 so symbol along with number has been has been given to my molecule now the next step would be and through this icon here this is an another important feature you can center the molecule in window by clicking this so i will center my molecule so here you can see this molecule has been centered now again what uh, one more feature we i we can uh, see here we can even find out the uh, bond length and bond angle there are other features and one more thing just i mentioned you that we have run certain calculation now you have seen that at the down some kind of table is there so what uh, all these are the calculation step that it has performed so for our purpose what we can do we can see the latest calculation results or we can copy all our all these results in our word document also so i'll click on this tab that is word document kind of um, looking like a icon i'll click on that after clicking you can see on your screen this kind of calculation page has appeared so here you can see it has performed all the calculation it has done the energy calculation it has since we have checked the bond order and bond length so it has performed the bond order it has must have found the bond order see this is the bond order it's written bond order here you can see since h2 has no dipole moment okay so it has you can see this it has calculated the dipole along all the axis x y z and last is the final um, our average the uh, dipole moment that is zero in dibai that is the unit of dipole moment the charges has been calculated so this is how you can any time you can refer and see your result what you have uh, calculated so this is our first molecule that we have built now come uh, going to the second molecule that we have to build a water molecule now there are two ways either you close this uh, uh, this black window by clicking on this close tab or if you want to keep it here you can keep this uh, file as it is and we can uh, open the new window also so i'll click the new window by clicking again on the create new file 
So here you can see that this file, new file, blank file has appeared. So now I'll make hydro, uh, water molecule with you, with you all. So for that, again, I'll drop some atom on my screen. So first atom has been dropped. Now we know we, it should be an uh, the constituent atoms in water molecule are two hydrogen and one oxygen. So I need to make this, I need to change this atom. So let me change my atom to oxygen. So here you can see this kind of table uh, elements are listed. So I'll pick oxygen here. Okay, so I'll take the oxygen. So here you can see the color has been changed because atom is different now, it's oxygen now. Okay, then I what I'll, I need hydrogen. So this, fee, this software has a feature to add hydrogen or to remove hydrogen as per the geometry of the molecule. Okay, so since I have defined my oxygen, I have defined the oxygen atom with specific geometry. So what I will do, I will go to add hydrogen option instead of making bond. Uh, there are two ways in which I can build this molecule. I'll place two hydrogen atom here. Then I'll make the bond along with, along with the OH, OH. Or I can directly go to add hydrogen option. Again, you can see on your menu bar, there is an icon called add hydrogen. Okay, so click on this add hydrogen tab. Once you click, you can see the hydrogen atom has been add added as per the hybridization of the center atom. So you can see this is my hydrogen uh, water molecule. Again, it is not a clean structure. We have to clean our structure and we have to optimize the structure. So again, we will do the cleaning the structure step. I'll clean the structure. For cleaning, I'll click on this. Again, for cleaning, we are without saving, you can't perform clean uh, cleaning uh, step. So you have to save your molecule first. So I will save my uh, this molecule first. Okay, so here you can see the molecule has been saved and this calculate. Now I can do the cleaning geometry. So calculation has been performed. Now next step again is to geometry optimization. I'll go to optimize geometry. I'll do the AM1 calculation. And if I want to find out any other property, I can check these boxes. Otherwise I can just go to the OK tab. And this is how I got my optimization optimized water molecule so during the for the along with this uh, structure building i want to make you understand few other uh, properties also for that let us suppose now i want to uh, find out the bond angle between these uh, atoms so it can be uh, this molecule i can easily do for that what i what i have to do let me uh, zoom out this molecule for all of you. So first, now I have to select the atoms. So I'll make the selection. I'll use the control tab on my keyboard. Okay. So you have to select, let me do the selection again. It's not picking right now. So you have to basically select these atoms here. So uh, let's move to the another uh, other feature. Let me figure it out. I think there's some kind of technically, uh, so I'll just figure it out. So move to the next uh, structure building that we have to build. That is our uh, going back to my presentation again to see what molecule we have to draw. 
So next molecule that I have to make is the benzene molecule. Okay, so we'll start building our benzene molecule. So for that, again, I'll open the new window. Okay, so there are two ways. Either you just place the atoms and make bond between the atoms and build your molecule. Or I can I uh, told you in the beginning also that we can pick the template structure through its inbuilt library. So what I, here you can see, just look here, there is a uh, pencil with a, a benzene ring kind of or a ring kind of icon. So it is a basically a builder toolkit. Let me unhide this thing. Now, once I click on this, a tab box will appear. Here you can see there are some atoms. Some of the atoms are listed here. If you want other atoms which are not present here, you want to find out other atoms. So what you have to do, you have to click on the periodic table. All the atoms will be listed here. Okay. So you anytime you can select the atom, whichever atom you want. Or there are some rings, inbuilt ring. There are three, four, six membered rings are here. You can pick those template structures. And there are also some amino acids uh, chains or polypeptides builders are also there. You can make your protein molecule also. So coming back to the ring, since we have to make the benzene ring here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to build my benzene molecule through the template structure. So what you have to do, you have to click on the ring. Again, I have picked through my left click button. Then I will do the right click on my screen. After right clicking, benzene ring will be placed on the screen. So here you can see this benzene ring has been uh, placed. Now I can get rid of this line by clicking on this first and then doing the left click. So here you can see this kind of this benzene ring has been built through the help of template structure. So there are two ways to make the molecule. Either you build uh, step by step by placing the atom, then define atom, make the bond between atom, add hydrogen accordingly, or you can directly take some, uh, uh, use the inbuilt library and use the template structure for your model. So I hope we are done with, or we are clear with our first hands-on exercise. Again, just look, uh, we can see, we can see what we have learned through this exercise. So basically, we will we, we now know how to build a molecule in Argus lab uh, using builder tool, just I explained you. And we can also build our molecule through the template structure. We, we learn how to change the atom, how to basically uh, define our atom, how to do the change hybridization. So all these steps we have learned, even the planarity of the molecule, which is not possible to uh, look the here at the screen, I can show you. So you can see how easily you can see and make your student uh, visualize this planarity of benzene molecule, which is otherwise not possible to explain during our classroom teaching or through our uh, blackboard teaching or to visualize how the how the molecule is planar. Now you can see all the atoms are in one plane and how beautifully we can explain the planarity of molecules. So this is the beauty of this software. Through this, we can make the visualization of complex topic much more easier. Okay, so this is about the first hands-on exercise. Now coming to the next hands-on uh, exercise, which talks about, let me uh, place the second hands-on exercise. So this is the second hands-on exercise. Here we have to basically build our molecule and find the angle that we can uh, do it. Uh, we will do later on. Before that, I'll use this hands-on exercise three because through that exercise, I would uh, make you learn how to document all these uh, calculation, whatever we are doing through Argus lab uh, in any Word document or through that you can assign some kind of project to your students so that they can use make use of this uh, Argus lab software and they can have their own project and they can make their own project with the help of this Argus lab. So coming to the exercise number three, it states that we have to optimize or we have to find out the carbon-carbon bond lens and bond order in ethane, ethene, and ethine. We all know that this, uh, this uh, 
question is very much important even in uh, for our board board exam this kind of question always arises like the what is the bond order or bond length of uh, of uh, these alkanes alkynes alkene we have to do the comparison of all these parameters so one by one we'll build all these molecule and calculate the property and we'll do the small analysis also about the result and our, our observation that we obtained through argus lab so coming to the argus lab screen now we can uh, create another we can create new molecule file here okay so step by step first i'll make the alkene then alkene then alkyne so i'll start with the alkane molecule first so here again we have to place the atom so i make i take the help of this pencil uh, icon so i have placed two atoms and these two are the carbon atoms now i want to make the bond between these two atom because i want to compare the bond length or i have to build the L uh, ethane molecule that is c2h6 now i'll do i'll make the bond between them so i just need to check whether my automatic bond function are on or off it is off right now so i'll click here so it will get automatically on now i'll select my atoms so the bond has been formed between these two atoms okay so here you can see now the next step would be adding hydrogen because it is incomplete right now so i'll do the add hydrogen step so here just look. again we will check the hybridization whether it is right or not because we know that in alkene the carbon atom is sp3 hybridized so we need to cross check also let me check this atom here we can see the atom info we will go to the atom atom information we can see that this atom is c3 tetrahedral and it is an sp3 hybridized okay and also we will do the labeling here i'll go to the atom label setting and i'll do the all atom setting then atom label setting this is how i have labeled my atoms now next step would be adding hydrogen i'll add the hydrogen so you can see as per the required geometry it will add the hydrogen or it as per the it will complete it valency so then i can rotate my molecule i can see how my atom looks like so this is how visualization and this tool is very much helpful in getting detail or learning and going it provides a in depth understanding of any complex or simple structure now again coming back again the next step would be we have to clean the structure because cleaning structure is very much important i had mentioned you many times so we will perform cleaning the structure step here so cleaning structure again we have to save the molecule i'll give it a name of ethane here and i'll save my molecule so here you can see the structure has changed a bit a uh, next step would be calculation optimize geometry am1 calculation and just make sure because our aim was to optimize the structure find the bond length and the bond order so i'll check the bond order here in this box so so that my bond order are calculated simultaneously along with other parameters so now this is my optimized structure so in order to find the bond length i will i need the selection of these two atom you can see i have selected the these two atom because i my aim was to find the bond length also along with bond order so here you can see i have selected c1 and c2 atom now on your menu bar you can see this distance kind of icon has been selected this line segment has been highlighted i can see what it says it it calculate the distance between the two atom i'll click on that so here you can see the distance between these two atom or the bond length has been calculated or it has been displayed over my structure so this is how i have find out the i'll find out the bond length now 
coming to the bond order. For that, I'll go to my calculation tab window. I'll click on that. So other windows are also there. So I'll just... So anytime if you have to save your file because this will show the latest calculation. So you have to make sure that you have uh, saved your previous work. Otherwise, it will not. It will be gone. It will not be saved in its uh, your your software memory. So here you can see how to find out the bond order. You can see on this kind of table that is shows the atom atom bond order. So these are my number carbon uh, atoms number C1, C2, C3. And these are also uh, during uh, horizontally and vertically. Since it, we have to find the bond order between C1 and C2. So I will read it like this. This is my one first column and this is my second. So this will be my bond order. You can see C1, C2. Okay, if I have to find out like if my chain was longer, like if it uh, it could be a five membered five uh, chain uh, uh, hydrocarbon, so I will take the select the atom according. So it is right now it is C one and C two like this. I will take this. This is my bond order. Okay, so I'll copy this data here. So through this exercise, I'll show you how you can record and document your result. Uh, produced during Argus lab. Now for that, I have created small project for you all. So for that, here, okay. So is this uh, Word document visible to everyone? Project file? Is it visible? Can yes, anyone... Okay, thank yes, you so much. So here I have created this small project that you, uh, all of you can share with your student and you can ask them to <coughs> perform this kind of exercise. So here it shows that you will assign this kind of problem to your student and you will ask them to, <coughs> sorry, you will ask them to find out the bond length, bond orders and heat of formation using Argus lab. So here I have made these different columns. So here first column says optimized structure, bond length, bond angle, bond order, and heat of formation. So one by one we'll fill up all these columns. So first I'll put my bond order value since I have copied. So here you can see this is my bond order has been Pay, uh, value has been recorded here. Now, second uh, uh, CC bond length that we have already calculated. I can go back to my software window. This is 1.5022. So I'll place this value again in my uh, like this. Now the next step is to uh, place the structure. So you can easily save your uh, structure. You can uh, save your structure through this Argus lab. What you have to do, you have to click on the window uh, on this, basically on this uh, black window, what you have to do, how you can save your structure here. First fix uh, the alignment of your structure in which position you want to take the uh, save this molecule. So I think this is the best way because it's showing my showing the uh, angle, even uh, showing the numbering. And even I want to uh, display the bond length along my atoms. Okay, so this is how I'm going to take the, uh, I'm going to save my molecule. So for that, you what you have to do, you will go on to the file tab, click here, go to the export. After exporting, you will, it will ask you to save. You save your file as JPG format. Once you save, okay, we'll go to our desktop and you can see this is our saved molecule. So I'll grab this, I'll take the this molecule, okay? Or I can uh, crop this molecule accordingly the way I want. So I'm taking it right now as it is, or we can do the cropping also. So I will just, place this molecule in my project assignment. I'll place this and I will 
do the addition or uh, do the editings accordingly. So here you can see you have placed your molecule. If once you'll crop, it will be more uh, visible. So uh, this is how you can uh, complete this. Now next, last is heat of formation. For that, again, you have to go to your um, uh, calculation tab on your software. Just go to the calculation tab. I'll see you how to find out or how to look at search for your heat of formation value. It will be written in this file only. So you have to scroll it. So you can see here the value of heat of formation. It is in kilocal per mole. Again, you pick your value from here. And place your data here. So you can see this is how you can complete your exercise. So your optimal, you have your structure, bond length, bond order, and heat of formation. And similarly, we'll do the rest of this. And you can easily ask your student to compare the result. They can compare, they can do the analysis here, and they can int interpret their result. So for that, I can show you. I'll uh, make the other structures also. Then we will do the comparison and we will do the interpretation accordingly. So coming back now, I will I want to make the, just I told you, I we have to build another hydrocarbon. That is my alkene. That is my ethene. For that, again, go to the file tab. That is new window I will uh, open. And I will place the atom here. Make sure that this automatic bonds are on. Now here we can see. See, now I want to make the ethene molecule. Now in ethene, we all know that carbon is sp2 hybridized. It is not sp3 hybridized and the bond is double bond instead of single bond. So first we are like, I'll make this double bond this single bond as a double bond. So what I have done, I have just clicked on this bond. Then after that, right click, sorry. Okay, select this bond, right click and make it double bond. So here you can see your, this double bond has been created. Initially, it was single bond. Now, since I told you that carbon needs to be sp2 hybridized in alkene, so we need to change the hybridization because the default, uh, the, the atom which we have placed here was initially sp3 hybridized. So I'll select the atom again and change, go to the change atom tab and I'll do the, I make, I'll make this atom as sp2 hybridized. Since this is a part of non-aromatic system, so I'll pick this. Again, I'll change this. So now my atoms has been changed. Now the, the, these, these atoms are sp2 hybridized carbon atom. Now the next step would be adding hydrogen. So I'll add the hydrogen, I'll click on this tab. So now you can see it has, now the each carbon has two hydrogen because we have already selected sp2 hybridized because carbon here is sp2, not sp3 hybridized. Again, we have to clean the structure. I'll do the cleaning of the structure. First, we have to save our molecule. So this is how I have cleaned my structure. Now here also, after that, you will do the geometry optimization and you can perform the similar kind of work uh, calculation or similar kind of work you can perform like we did for the ethane, that is our alkane. Okay, so I have um, uh, here, I have make you learn how to build alkene or how to change the atom hybridization according to the structure. Now coming to the ethyne molecule, we have to, uh, we, we will also see how we can make the triple bond. For that, again, go to the new structure tab, 
again i'll place two atoms here and i'll make the bond between these two atoms first okay now since the atom is sp3 uh, this is an uh, alkyne the carbon is uh, there's a triple bond first i'll change the atom to triple now here you can see it is a triple bond now next step would be i want to uh, i need to change the hybridization because here carbon needs to be sp hybrid sp hybridized so i'll select the atom change atom and make and me and make it sp hybridized Since uh, it was not showing in my uh, that tab, so I will go to the periodic table and I'll do the selection from, I'll do the SP hybridization selection from here. Now it is an SP, SP hybridized. Similarly, I'll make it a change this. It is SP hybridized. Now I'll do the addition of hydrogen. Now here you can see each carbon has one hydrogen and there's a triple bond between the carbon atoms. I'll do cleaning the structure here. Again, first we will save the molecule. So this is how the molecule has been cleaned up. Now we'll perform the uh, geometry optimization. So this is how we can do the, um, we can build our structure and we can uh, change the geometry accordingly and we can calculate seven. So here what we have learned again, we can see uh, through our PowerPoint what we have learned so far. We have learned that uh, how to build these structures. We have learned to calculate bond order, to how to find out the bond length, how to change the geometric, uh, hybridization of the atoms. And there's one more thing that I want to discuss. Like uh, you can ask your student to interpret the result according to the observation. So they can make this kind of table. So where they can see that how the bond length is changing and how the bond order is changing. As we know, there's an inverse relationship between the bond length and bond order. So they can easily correlate and easily uh, find out through this Argus lab and they can easily learn this uh, concept uh, through this tool in a very simpler manner. And it will also be, it is best part of it, it helps in visualization of the concept, it giving a visualization. Now coming to the uh, next exercise, that is R, we have to build the uh, 3D molecular structure of benzene ring from cyclohexane, then further modify it to methyl benzene. So why I have chosen this kind of uh, problem here? So I just want to uh, uh, in. Uh, make you understand that we can uh, build the molecule like we can go to the final like uh, here my structure number one would be cyclohexane okay first i'll build the cyclohexane then cyclohexane will get changed to benzene then through benzene i'll put one substituent on the benzene and make it a toline that is methyl benzene so this is how i'll change you how the conversion can be done simply from the one molecule that is the cyclohexane so this is very interesting. So all of you please uh, can perform it simultaneously. So for that, again, we will go to the new molecule tab. I'll, I have my new screen here, new tab, new uh, uh, screen to build the molecule. So step by step, first step, just I told you, we have to build the cyclohexane. For that cyclohexane, what I will do, I will do the, uh, first I'll place my atoms. So let me place the atom. I need to place six carbon atoms. You can place in any random manner. You don't need to worry because ultimately the system, uh, the software is going to clean and optimize the structure and it will put the structure in a more accurate manner. Means it will be, it will, it, it has more, uh, it will be closer to the experimental data. All the bond length, bond angles, they will be closer to the experimental data. So though you don't need to worry how my, how I'll place the hydrogen atom or how close should my carbon atom, it will be taken care by this software only so next step would be like i need to make the bond between these atoms so again the automatic bond should be on it's okay now i'll select my atoms
So this ring has been created. That is my six-membered ring. Now the next to, next step would be placing the hydrogen atom. So I'll place the hydrogen here. Okay. So the hydrogen has been placed. Again, it is a rough structure. It is not a true structure. For that, any time we can go back and clean the structure. So I'm doing the cleaning here. Okay. So this is how the structure has been cleaned up. Here you can see. And next step would be the geometry optimization. Okay. So for right now, I'm just skipping that part so that we can just focus on building the structure. You can do the geometry optimization accordingly. So this is uh, the first step has been completed. We have obtained our structure number one, that is the cyclohexane. Now the next step is that I want to build the benzene ring. Okay, so for benzene ring, since we have already learned uh, how to build the benzene ring in the in first hands-on exercise through the template structure. So here I'll make you learn through uh, like uh, how to do step by step placing atoms or through builder toolkit. So here first I'll just remove the hydrogen. So this icon, this hydrogen will, with eraser, it basically the deletion of hydrogen is done from, through this. So all the hydrogen has been deleted from this uh, ring now. Now make sure that we know that there, there are alternate double bond in my benzene ring. So first I'll make the double bond in my ring. For that, again, select the atom, select the, sorry, bond and make it, change it accordingly. So I'll make it double bond. Okay. Now the next step would be, uh, since uh, if I just add hydrogen, just, just look at the screen carefully. Now, do you think is it a, it is a right structure? Each carbon is having uh, these kind of bond. How many bond? Each car, each carbon has almost like five bond. Do you think is it it's a right structure? No, it is not a right structure. And why it has taken five? Uh, it is uh, it it has five bonds because we have not changed the geometry of carbon atom. Carbon can't be sp3 hybridized in benzene ring. It is sp2 hybridized. So we have to change the hybridization. So I'll just remove the hydrogen from here. And one by one, I'll change the geometry of my carbon atom to be sp2 hybridized. Now, just remember, this carbon is a part of aromatic ring. So carbon chosen that we will choose, it should be a part of aromatic. So I'll make, I'll select this carbon trigonal aromatic. Okay. Same steps will be followed for, uh, for the other atoms. Carbon need to be aromatic since it's a part of aromatic ring. So I have changed all my atoms, carbon atom, from sp3 to sp2 hybridized. Okay. Now I will do the addition of hydrogen here. Now you can see. Now it's no longer like the, the structure is not like the that we obtained initially. So I'll do cleaning the structure step here. So you can see I have got my benzene molecule and I can see the planarity of molecule. So this is how you can make your benzene molecule starting from cyclohexane. Now coming to the third structure that we need to make that is the methyl benzene. For that what you have to do you have to change uh, you have to place one substituent that is CH3 on your benzene ring. So what I'm going to do I will change this hydrogen Okay, this change this hydrogen to carbon that is sp3 hybridized here and I'll do the add hydrogen. Now you can see or if I can clean my structure, now you can see and you can do the rotation here and you can see that methyl benzene has been created that is my toluene molecule. So this is how you can build any molecule from the scratch or through the help of template structure also. I hope this is clear to everyone, this hands-on exercise, this number four that we have built through the Argus lab. Now, what we have learned through this uh, tool, uh, through this hands-on, 
we we know now how to build uh, any structure in 3d we we can do the molecular visualization which is very uh, important in understanding any abstract concept to make it more uh, interesting and engaging and we also learned the concept of hybridization like we have seen it is uh, how we need how we change uh, the hybridization or hi how hybridization is very much important we can't uh, place sp3 hybridized atoms in benzene ring so these all concepts have been cleared through this hands on exercise now coming to the last exercise that we have to perform here we have we can build all these um, hydrogen hydrogens uh, these hydrogen sulfide hydrogen selenide these molecule we can build so you can see what i have did here just uh, we have to build this molecule and we can calculate the bond angle and i have done some kind of reporting here you can see that through this we what we are going to uh, learn here you can see how the bond angles uh, the all these bond angles are calculated with the help of argus lab you can see that the central atom we know it is an oxygen then sulfur then selenide we know the central atom electronegativity is decreasing as we go down the group so we can see as the electronegativity of central atom decreases down the group this you can see the bond angle is also decreasing so we can easily correlate like whatever theory theoretical part that we are teaching we are uh, taking up in our classroom we can easily correlate and make it more practical and a hands on uh, with our students to make them understand concepts in simpler manner so let's start with this exercise now so again you have to just uh, first build the uh, uh, i i am making hydrogen sulfide here so first i'll place the atom since it is a carbon i need to change this atom i want it to be a sulfur since sulfur is not in this box here i'll go my i'll go to my periodic table and will select the sulfur from here so you can see some mustard color atom has been placed here so again i'll do add hydrogen here okay so adding hydrogen then we can do the cleaning of structure so after cleaning structure you can see i'll go get more uh, precise or more uh, i will not say it is an accurate still we need to do the geometry optimization to get the more accurate and more stable structure okay so here you can see we can we can see our molecule i need to select this why this uh, click is not working right now so we can just go to the next step here so i can show you like you have to just do the selection of the carbon atom okay uh, so all the atoms uh, through which you want the bond to be formed so i'll make these i'll select these three atoms basically this uh, these two this hydrogen sulfur and this hydrogen after this selection you can see that this uh, this angle icon will be highlighted and it will display the bond angle between these two atom and uh, just i have reported here you can find out your bond angle uh, uh, just i showed in your my presentation you can find out the bond angle like this okay so this is how you can uh, uh, find out all these uh, parameters through this software in a very simpler manner and one more interesting feature that i want to take up with you all since we have a uh, few 10 minutes left with us 
So I want to take a one more uh, interesting aspect of this uh, software with you all. So let me start with my, uh, I'll do the step very fast here because I want to make you understand the concept of bonding and anti-bonding molecular orbital like all you have um, you have seen in the chapter chemical bonding and molecular structure. And sometimes it's become very difficult for students to uh, understand the uh, or to um, uh, understand how the electrons are distributed in different orbitals. So through that software, I will make, make you understand. So I'll first make the um, ethene. So I'll show you the distribution of electrons in ethyl ethene molecule. Okay, so first I have... Sorry, I need to make it double bond. And I will change the hybridization. Okay, now I'll do add hydrogen. So this is my thing. I'll clean the structure again. Okay. Cleaning structure, then I'll perform the geometry optimization. Again, I'll pick the AM1 calculation. I told you we are restricting ourselves to the simplest method here. We will not go in much detail because these are quantum mechanical and molecular me mechanical method. We are not focusing here on the method of calculation. We are learning here how to make uh, structures through Argus lab. Okay, so this is the ethene ethene molecule sorry that we have created now the next step just i told you that i want to show you how the orbitals or electron distribution will look like now here what we will do i'll do the single point calculation here this is an additional feature of this uh, argus lab here you can see again the calculation tab will be same am1 that we have performed for geometry optimization so don't worry and uh, i think i know it will look scary that how many how much um, uh, things have been uh, put here in this dialog box but you don't need to worry because we are just focusing our self to the creation part and calculating the structural property so I'll, this am1 has been selected here now go to the surface property surface property here you can see click orbital to plot since I want to uh, make all the orbitals here, so I'll choose the orbital. I'll, I'll be choosing the orbital here one by one. Since I want, I will select first, I'll select all the occupied molecular orbital. Six one is showing HOMO. It is means the highest occupied molecular orbital. And I'll select the lowest unoccupied molecular orbital also. So I have selected all these orbitals. So what in a step you will go to the, you will go, go to the OK tab here close this and perform run calculation. For run calculation, this flame-like icon is there. Click on that. Here you can see some calculation has been performed and my structure has given, now structure has calculated the uh, electronic distribution has been calculated for that uh, molecule. Now, in order to make it visible, because we want to see how the electrons are distributed, for that we need to go to the surface tab uh, go to make surfaces okay make surfaces you can see on the left hand side of this dialog box you can see there is a plus icon uh, along with this folder i'll click on this folder so all the for all the orbitals the calculation has been performed so how i will make them visible and how i will make them uh, 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 like uh, how the electrons will be distributed in ethene molecule we'll see for that click on this uh, like all these orbitals are clocked uh, are have been calculated so i'll first make them um i'll map them uh, all the orbitals here okay and i'll name this surface as one okay so create here you can see surface one has been created again i'll drag this grid here i give this surface name as two create i have to do this steps Similar step for the other orbitals. Sorry, this should be uh, three. It should be named as three. I have, so uh, we can delete this surface. We will do it again. Surface number three, create. So this is the first step that we have to perform here. Since we have selected all the uh, occupied molecular orbitals, 
So these all are my occupied molecular orbitals. Okay, so all the uh, orbitals have been aligned here. Now, up, now the next step is to make them uh, visible. So for that, click on first. Let, let me click on this. So here you can see, uh, I will select this. I'll go to the toggle display. Okay, after toggle display, you can see this kind of, uh, my screen has been changed because this has given me the electronic distribution in ethene molecule, how the electrons are distributed in my molecular orbital. Now this, uh, I, I can, I, it is very difficult to under, uh, to visualize this, uh, this kind of structure. To, I will change the surface or I'll modify the surface to the mesh type here. I can make it translucent, opaque, but mesh will give the better description of this electronic distribution. Here you can see this positive and negative. What does it mean? Positive means the region of high electron density and negative means the region of low electron density. So here you can see the electrons are distributed uh, equally in all the direction. Okay. So this is my first surface that I have seen. Now going to the next, so we'll do all these uh, surface. I'll show you the highest occupied and the lowest unoccupied. So go to the make surface. You can repeat the similar step with other uh, orbitals also. So if uh, just make sure when you want to uh, display another surface, make sure that the previous one is deleted. Otherwise it will overlap with the new one. So I'll delete this uh, surface right now. Okay, and I want the display of sixth orbital that is my highest occupied molecular orbital. So I'll click on this. I'll go to the toggle display and okay. So here you can see, again, I'll go to uh, modify surface. I'll make it mash type. So here you can see, there is a positive lobe. Uh, there is a positive one lobe above the plane and one lobe below the plane. So this is how you can easily make your student understand how the electrons are distributed in uh, ethene molecule because otherwise it is not possible uh, to make them understand the distribution of the molecule. Okay, and let me show you the another uh, last surface also. So we need to delete this surface first. I'll delete this and I'll display the lowest unoccupied molecular orbital. So here you can see, again, I'll go to modify surface, mash, and okay. So this is how you can see different lobes, positive, negative, negative, positive. So this is, this with this, I can easily, uh, uh, you can make, make them understand uh, the electron distribution in ethene molecule. So I hope with this, uh, we are, we have completed all the hands-on exercise. If you have any doubt, we can take up. Please let me know. And this uh, recorded session will be provided to you. So anytime you can access to this uh, session and practice on your own. And if you have any query in, uh, during your practice session, you can contact me through the WhatsApp group that have been created for you all or you can easily uh, refer to the this ppt and it will give you a uh, it will help you in understanding this argus lab does anyone have any query So with this, I think we, we, we will soon be closing our breakout room. Excuse me, ma'am. Actually, the uh, last part, the formation of molecular orbital. Can you repeat? Yes, ma'am. Yes. Ma ma'am, yes. the initial steps are same. You have to do the, uh, you have to make the molecule, clean the structure, 
optimized geometry the additional feature was you have to do the single point calculation you will go to the single point tab here okay and you have to select the am1 method and select the surface property in during the, this surface property you have to pick the orbitals orbitals here the molecular orbitals uh, do you for your structure so i'll pick all these orbitals since all the above listed uh, orbitals are the highest occupied are the occupied molecular orbitals in which the electrons will be there and the last one is the lowest unoccupied molecular orbital so i'll i'll select all these orbitals okay after selecting i'll press my uh, i'll press the okay button here so here you can see i'll do the okay here and after that i'll do the run a calculation step when i'll run the calculation the calculation will be performed so uh, all the orbitals like the electrons have been calculated for my orbitals now for that in order to make them visible what i have will do i have to go to surface tab okay in the surface tab when i'll go to make surfaces you can see there is an uh, this kind of icon is here with folder with plus icon so i'll click on that so in the drop down menu you can see all the calculations have been performed since i have performed this calculation twice so it is showing many orbitals here okay so what we have to do we have to just first pick our orbitals and make a chart here okay i'll just drag the orbital from this space to here to grid space and i'll do create I, once i press the create button you can see a surface has been created here okay and i am going to repeat the similar steps with other orbitals i am going to create first i need to create the surface this way i'll create my surface okay just in order to th so this is how the surface have been created now my next step is i want them to be uh, uh, to make them visible on this uh, structure or how they look like for that i'll go on again on the surface on this tab that is a defined surface tab i'll click on the required surface just make sure that before making any surface if the other orbital have been selected you have to deselect this so i'll select this because it is showing the previously it is showing the seven orbital seventh orbital surface so i need to delete this other it will overlap now i'll go to the simple surface toggle display after toggle display it will show the uh, orbital here you can see this kind of picture has come i'll modify in order to make it more clear and visible so it will give me a mash it has obtained this kind of uh, representation now it is a mash type representation here this negative region represent the low density re low electron density region or positive means the high electron density region so here we can easily conclude that all the electrons are equally distributed in one region only okay it is there is it is not like it is uh, highly placed on carbon carbon it is placed on just ch bond it is equally distributed over the entire molecule so this way we can uh, make the surfaces for other orbitals also so this is how we can show the electronic distributions how the electrons are distributed in molecular orbitals thank you so much ma'am thank you so much welcome ma'am so thank you everyone for connecting with me and learning this software uh, along with me so uh, i hope you enjoy and learn and also uh, you utilize this uh, uh, software learning or with your students and i would suggest you to create a project just i showed you during the presentation with your students so that they can easily uh, correlate and uh, make a small project during their uh, along with their class work so thank you everyone once again for connecting with me thank, thank you, you so much love the session thank you thank you ma'am ma'am welcome welcome thank you everyone namaste